It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And we are here on location live at Justin's House of Bourbon in Lexington, Kentucky. Right? <laughs> we so rarely do on location lives anymore. Yeah, yeah. No, it's true. It's but true. But this place is great because we have this... Oh, I muted that before and it came unmuted. Um, this place is great because they have a private room uh, that Which you can... Is where we are right which is where we are right now yeah. it's rentable for private tastings and we have they've been so kind to let us use it for our live stream so, so that's exciting if this is your first live um what we do is we will time stamp the different bourbons that we're gonna be tasting here today yes and put it down in a pinned comment so you can kind of jump around if you like to mm -hmm. um i guess you know in it's probably pretty obvious but in the effort of full disclosure uh, they are providing all of the bourbons here for us to try. Which is really exciting because we so wouldn't have just, access to any know. of these anywhere else but here. Some of them. Some of them, yes. Um, so we have a variety today. We're starting with a vintage that's, what, 1975? 1975. Heaven Hill, obviously pre-fires, 1975. Uh, 80 proof. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we're doing a couple of store picks. We're doing some every day. We're revisiting something. Yeah, we're kind yeah. of... Um, I guess doing a variety. We're, yeah, it's the variety show. Variety of stuff. We have a two dollars super chat from Jeffrey, Justin's house of dreams and magic. That's correct. <laughs> yes, that's that's the place. Super chat. Thank you. We forgot to bring the cowbell and, and the, the triangle, triangle, but you know what? What they have here is a guitar Ooh. that's made out of a bourbon barrel. How cool is that? Uh, so what are you going to do, Chad? I don't know. And it's not plugged in, so I don't even know if they'll be able to hear it. So I'll give you a strum. A nice little G chord. Maybe a little... I'm going to go to the D. Maybe I'm just going to take a little trip to the C. Mm, <laughs> TNT's Blues Corner would be so disappointed. Yes, he would. <laughs> he would. So thank you for that. Yes, thank you. Well, let's get something in our glass. Let's get this in our glass. Um, give you just a little bit of background on Justin's House of Bourbon. Uh, they opened a few years ago. There are over 200 bottles here um, at retail price. And a lot of people have the misconception that they only do vintage and they only do high-end stuff. They do like specialize in that as well, but they have 200. Um, I thought it was over four, 200. 400. Well, when you talk about everything together, we've got 200 retail price bottles. And mm -hmm. we've got, um, I think it's... Hun several hundred uh, oh, I see. rare vintage I got you. bottles. Yes. Um, so you can kind of, and then they've also got barrel picks and stuff. So you can kind of choose your own adventure as far as like what you're looking for. If it, you just need to pick up something, you know, that's off the shelf or you're looking for something more special, more vintage and rare, mm -hmm. you can find it or you just want a, a fun local pick. Um, I mean, you did that for a gift for me for our wedding. I did. So when I was, I knew I needed to get she, something special. She as his groom's gift for our wedding. And so, of course, I came here and they were super helpful. They helped me find a pipe. It was at ancient age from the 50s. Um, and yeah, I mean, they really helped me like look at the entire selection, weigh, you know, give opinions and feedback. Yeah. So they kind of helped guide me through that selection process oh. of what I was looking for that would be special for him. And I highly recommend that. Like they're super helpful every time you come in. Uh, there's also a tasting bar, so you can, you can try things there too. Before you buy, you just need to go ahead and smell this. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this is so, and that's this is what we love about vintages. At least in our, you know, we don't have a super wide experience with vintage bourbon, but from our experience, even something that's like an eighty proof, like this one, if it's, you know, if we're talking about seventies, eighties, it doesn't smell or typically taste like an eighty proof bourbon off the shelf today. Yeah. And there's different theories of why that is, and we've talked about it before. You know, a lot of it, I think it's the regulations of how they have to clean pipes nowadays and so forth. And back then, they didn't so much yeah. have those. So it's kind of like cooking on a charcoal grill or yes, like a cast like iron cast skillet. Iron. This smells like a chocolate-covered caramel to me, a milk chocolate-covered caramel. <sighs> I'll tell you what, it doesn't smell it smells like... delicious. <laughs> it doesn't smell like an 80 proof. It really doesn't. Ooh, ooh. Man, there's something mm. savory about it, too. I like it. I like it. Uh, they also have Rebel Yell 100. Yes, they do, Swan. Um, this was the first place that... That we were able to find. In Lexington. And I haven't even seen it anywhere else except outside of our city. Mm. Woo! Mm. <clears throat> okay, it, it does taste... 
you definitely more eighty proof. It's more eighty proof than the nose. Than the nose indicates. Yeah. However, you get a lot more character in there, I oh, think, yeah. versus like the eighty proofs of nowadays. It's an eighty proof of yesteryear, days of yore. <laughs> days of yore. You know, the um, uh, olden times. I'll tell yeah. you what, it does have a much longer finish and a lot more barrel. Yeah. Than than you would expect today's. 80 proofs. Oh, so good. Don't make them like they used to, I guess. Yeah. So um, this one's on the tasting bar. Out yeah, there. everything As we're you trying. can see, it's open. They're all on the tasting bar. So you could come get a pour if you wanted. Um, the cool thing that they do, because they do some barrel picks, like we said, some exclusive stuff, and we'll get to some of those in a bit. But you can get a taste of just the barrel picks at the tasting bar. And if you decide you like it, the cost of your tasting goes towards your bottle, which is awesome. I think that's a great way to encourage people to try things and then like... Mm -hmm. If you do like it, you get a little kickback. That's nice. Yeah, you get that. Yeah. You know. Old Kentucky Rifle is mm. the name of this. Again, it's Heaven Hill Distilleries. It actually says it on the label, which is cool, instead of Old Kentucky Rifle Distillery or whatever. Chad, I would like a bottle of this. Me too. This is good. We shall ask. Mild we shall and inquire. mellow, it says. <laughs> Mild and mellow. Hmm. It's a screw top. Mild and mellow. I agree with that, but the flavor is tell, there. but it has Kentucky Rifle on the, on the top. Oh, neat. You see there. It's it's you know it's a really nice white and blue bottle. Mm. If you like those colors, it's yes. It's kind of patined now, patina. It, I guess. Yeah. Um. On the if label. this was available widely, I think this would be like my summer pick. Like I would drink this in the summer when it's hot. I mean, because of the proof, like it's still got all the flavor, but it's not hot. It doesn't make because I can't stand. It's really hard to drink an you. uncut. 130 proof in the middle of July. Right. It really is. I'll put it on a big rock, but we, yeah. we usually don't even do that. Oh, and you'll notice that we're drinking out of their, <laughs> oh, yeah. their they tasting glass. They have cool glassware here that's available for purchase as well. Um, no, this is really good. This is an 80 proofer that I can get behind. I would say typically the stuff available today, we usually don't. We kind of start at 86 mm -hmm. <laughs> as far as like the stuff we would normally be drinking. There's not really any 80 proofers out there that I can say we reach that for. That I would reach for. Yeah. This mm. is good. <sighs> it's so good. Available on their tasting bar, as is everything that we're we'll be trying today. And also, some of these bottles are available for purchase. Would encourage you to taste this one. Yeah. If you're around town. Um, if you're not around town and you're interested in bottles, I think you can just give them a call and uh, chat. Mm -hmm. Um. Yes, this old Kentucky rifle is a dusty. It's very dusty. <laughs> like very. Like very. Seventy five. Nineteen seventy five. Seventy five. Yeah. Uh, twenty, almost twenty full years before, before, you. before the fire. Before me and before you. Before me, before you. Yeah. Well, definitely before me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I get it. I get it. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. yeah definitely. <laughs> um, we should also say. I think I might have got a little. No, there's no cork on this. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Ooh, um, can I show our present? Or do you want to, you go first with what you were going to say? Sure. I was going to say the room that we're in uh, is like their back room. It's sort of like it's a, a speakeasy it's room. It's a speakeasy room. There's, you know, the door is hidden. It's really cool. It's very cool. But it's available. It's actually hidden in it. Well, we shouldn't tell them where it's hidden. No. I don't know. They have to show you. It's part of the magic. It's part of the magic. Um, it's available for rent. And they can lead a tasting. Private tasting. Private tasting, which we've done one here before. And we have, so we always, if we ever see an auction item at a charity event that includes a private tasting at Justin's House of Bourbon, we always bid on it because we know how amazing it is. That's how we've is. gotten two so far. One yes. we've done, the other one's coming up. Now I think we've told on ourselves, so we probably won't get any more. This one um, was at the Bourbon Women Auction. Bourbon Women Auction, yeah. yeah. We're the like, supposing. yep, we want that. Because um, it makes great way to show appreciation to people in our lives who help us with <clears throat> bourbon things. Um, yeah. But yeah, so we've done it here before, and it's great. I mean, you get at least, at minimum, an hour and a half uh, guided tasting, and they will talk to you ahead of time and help to pick out like mm -hmm. what makes sense for your group. So it's small groups, because it is a small room, but it's so intimate and nice, and you know, one of their bourbon uh, connoisseurs will lead it. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Totally worth it. So you can call for availability on that too to book yours. We yeah. need to book ours. We our next to, one. We didn't need to book ours. Mm. So that's good. But enough about us. How are you guys? How how is everyone doing? Um, I think they're juggling between football and us. Yeah, yeah. It you know it's gonna happen around uh, this time of year. Yeah. And and we realize it 
<laughs> I think eight o'clock will be our standard time and three o'clock will be our in the event of blank time. So in the event of we wanted to come here during business hours right? Uh, because they do close at six on Sundays, mm -hmm. uh, we did it at three. Normally open till 8.30 during the week. Yep. Uh, like 10 said. to 8.30 Monday through Saturday, 1 yeah. to 6 on Sundays. There you go. Mm. So thanks again to them for providing all of these pours today. Oh, so good. Real nice. Yeah. We got a lot of exciting stuff, so stick around. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I want to show you, so uh, a friend, Caroline, works here, mm -hmm. and she brought us a wedding gift, and it was super nice, and I want to show you. Do it. She just so happened to have. Put this away. Look at this little baby wild turkey decanter. Isn't this amazing? It's not opened. The strip is still intact. I think it's got like, it's still got stuff in it. Yeah. You can hear it just a little bit, but uh, how much is this? What did you say? A it's, 50 milliliter. Oh, it's only, yeah, it's an airplane sized amount of whiskey in but there. Look Cute. I was looking on the box. It's 101 proof and it's eight years. We'll take pictures of it uh, closer to Thanksgiving and put it on Instagram because you know turkeys, right? Turkeys. Because turkeys. Yeah. Um, I'm so excited about this. Yeah, that's really like, cool. Ugh. And it's 101 proof in there too, which yeah. is nice. Eight year age stated 101. It's so small. <laughs> I love it. Anyways, that's enough about my presents. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so anyway, today's sample shout out goes to Caroline. Mm-hmm. There you go. We do have a couple what's Ooh, news came off. and sample shout outs, but we didn't want to haul them down here, so that'll be reserved. Rolled on to next week. Next week. Yeah. All right. Are we moving on then, I suppose? Yeah, let's do it. Let's move on. Let's move on. I haven't seen a lot of questions or anything. Oh, that's nice, Bruce. Bruce says, football muted, you are not. Mm. <laughs> Doing yes. a little double Listen dipping. to us, watch the game. Yeah. You have yours nice. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. All right, so, so we didn't want to do all vintage. I mean, that would be lovely, but um, like I said, thanks, Ricky. There's a little something for everyone in this one. So this one's more of a um, a revisit. A revisit, more of an everyday. Because we went from a vintage made in Kentucky to a bottle of Kentucky, Kentucky vintage. vintage. You see what we did there? Uh, yep. Yeah. There um, this was one of the earliest uncorkings that we did, actually. Uh, it was like maybe our second or third episode, maybe our third. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. It could have been fourth. Anyways, first five episodes, this was in there. And it was in that point in time when Chad, were, Chad and I were like, we can make double the episodes if we split our time when we're not together and we record things separately. D did not work out. <laughs> this is not the way to go no. is what we learned. But this is one that I did on my own very early. If you watch it, you could probably still see the fear in my eyes. Um, <laughs> I just love we haven't seeing you in a while. struggle with, with the, the wax, wax in that episode. Yes, you were just you were having a time. I had a really tough time, a time with that time. wax. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we did the I did the uncorking upstairs at what's now our normal live set. It was a whole thing. It was a whole thing. What a mess. It was a whole thing. What a mess. But no, it's been a while since we revisited this, so yeah. I'm excited to have it again. Yeah. So again, an example of something that is readily available retail that they do. Here. Yeah, I mean, they have tons of, you know, as we said, regular regular bottles, but also, you know, some, some ones like, um, this is where we found the Peerless Bourbon. I didn't see that in any other stores around town. I was able to find that and get that here. And we did an uncorking of that that you can check yeah. out. The, Tur or um, the Rebel Yell 101. Rebel 100. 100, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> I'm thinking yeah, 101, 101 on from that turkey. Yeah. So um, it's, it's a good mix of stuff. And it's, you know, it's not just, not just those vintage. Mm-hmm. But, you know, if you want to come here also for the museum aspect, I think most people that know is, of that already. They um, do. They have been amazing. Like, if you're following our Instagram, I posted some pictures yes. of, you know, what can be called the museum that you can buy out there. Um, you can you can check those out. Like, you, there's yes. a 2002 uh, BTAC vertical, there's I think, that's out there. There's the Booker's 10th. Booker's 10th is gone. Oh, it's gone? Yeah. Uh, it was here last time. The 25th here. is here now. The OFC... Old Fashioned Copper 1993 that we had mm -hmm. on the our last the episode that we posted on Friday. Um, that's here, along with two other of those OFs, Buffalo Trace OFCs. Mm -hmm. Are we? We're dropping frames. We, we are. Yeah. We oh, are well. a little bit. So sorry if, it, if it, the picture is a little choppy here and there. Just stick with us. It's the 
the Wi-Fi. The dangers of Wi-Fi. The dangers of Wi-Fi. Kilco, $2 super chat. Seven Texas distilleries, two days. Glad to be back home. Sir, we know that feeling. <laughs> Cheers to you. Cheers. We'll do another. I guess we'll just intersperse the guitar things. Or you do I'll you. I'll do it right now. Oh, he said I'll do it right now. Okay. Sorry for the choppy. Um, Let me do a little, do a little, uh... oh yeah, bend it. Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> Chad, you're so multi-talented. Whoa! Now, you Drew. need to do a better one for Drew. Drew, I don't know. What else you got? I... <laughs> I'm gonna have to do like some, some. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> To do some like fast, um, let's see. Little well, Metallica? No, I'll f I forget how to play it. No. Where is it? This is good TV. I'm like that guy around the campfire who, you know, knows how to play, but it's like, no, it's here, it's here, it's no, here. No, no, that's not it, no. Mm. There's some harmonic, but I forget where it is. I, I think yeah. you've done enough. Yeah. <laughs> um, there you go. There we go. Not very impressive, but what can you He kind of did stand up, so drink. Yeah. Um, yeah, thanks, Drew. Woo, Drew. Woo, Drew. Indeed. Drew, if there's a place that you need to come, it's here. Next time you're in Kentucky, you yeah. have to come here. Yes. It's like a Get yourself some bourbon good drinkers playground. And art. And art. Wow, what okay. The heck? He says, gla well, first let's read Drew's real yes. quick. Drew said, see if they can send me a pour of Eagle Rare 17. Never tried it and want to. Um, I don't think they can do that, but I'll keep my ears open yes. first at a way that that could potentially happen. We'll see what we'll we see can what do. We'll see what we can do. We don't even have any of that, but yeah. yes. And Art, uh, cheers Art. I think we'll leave the guitar down for now. We'll play it again in a bit. <laughs> um, glad to catch another live stream. We'll add Justin's to the next Kentucky trip. Put down the guitar, Chaz. <laughs> add this to the laptop fund. Thank you. We yes. will. Hey, and John Wadsworth, no stairway. John said no, no stairway. No stairway. Yeah. Denied. And no, um, what's that other one that... Dun, dun, dun. Smoke dun, on the water? Dun. Yeah, it's like banned from every music store ever because they're like, no, we will not have you in yes. here to buy a guitar yes. with that amateur stuff. <laughs> they're tired of hearing it. So, okay, so to John. To John. Um, mm. The Linux cat. So, this, is a, this bar. is a bar. Please explain. This is a bar. It's a store with Most. a tasting bar. Yes. So, they have... I don't know, what would you estimate, 50 or so bottles behind their tasting least, bar? At least, yeah. That rotates. Um, so that's a cool thing. Every time we pop in, we look at the tasting bar, see what's new. Maybe grab a pour or something, you know, but pitches the great, our interest. The great thing about the tasting bar is that it is a mixture. It's kind of a representation of the store overall. Like yeah. There's a mixture of bottles that are retail, like general on the shelf, vintage stuff, and picks. So you can kind of go any direction with that. Yeah, yeah. Um, they have some really neat stuff. Yeah. We've been cheersing with this, and so we've tasted it already about three times. We have. We haven't talked about it. So, no. Kentucky Vintage is part of the small batch boutique collection boutique. of Willet, Will uh, which uh, I think is probably still going to be sourced juice. They do have their own stuff aging. I don't know if any of that has made it into a, an expression like Kentucky Vintage or not. Yeah. Because this is rumored, it was rumored to be like 10 years, so... Probably not. I mean, it's not age stated. It's not age stated, but the rumor. So they is. could have changed that. Probably did throughout, you know, throughout the time. Um, but it's you know, it's a lot like uh, I think Kentucky Pure Kentucky XO is around the same price as mm -hmm. this. Then you go to like um, what Johnny Drum. Yeah. Um, oh, Rowan's Creek. Rowan. Rowan's Creek. Uh, Noah's Mill. And Noah's Mill is the top of the boutique collection. I don't think Johnny Drum is technically in the collection. So. It's, uh, yeah, Pure Kentucky XO, Kentucky Same Vintage. bottle. Uh, Rowan's Creek. Noah's Mill. Yeah, Johnny Drum is just another Willow product. <laughs> Greg T. Stag is here. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh, we didn't get anything in the lottery. Unfortunately. Yeah, did not. Did not get anything. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah. Um, 
Didn't get anything in the in the BTAC lottery. No. Unfortunately. But what can well, you do? but I think the cool thing about here is like if you don't want to wait in line and you don't want a lottery ticket and you would you know, some people have more money than time, right? Sure. If there's a place that you can go, like Buffalo Trace is obviously pro- I would probably call it the most hunted distillery. Um if there's a place that you can go oh, for convenience releases. and know that something's going to be on the shelf, it's here mm-hmm. at Justin. So, yeah. like, right now, outside of this store, there's, like, multiple bottles of Blanton's, multiple bottles of each of the Wellers. And I didn't even see what else was over there. But, like, that's just what I know off the top of my head that's sitting on the shelf old, over there. Old Willet, uh, you know, uh, family estate bottles of Willet. Um, old, like... Uh, old Fitzgerald and um, Old Willet, the mm-hmm. the uh, vein, um, the cheesy. No, that's cheesy no, gulf it's, oil. No, it's the, the, the gold vein. Gold vein, Weller, um, Old Granddad from like the forties, fifties. Yeah. I mean, just. So it's really if you want it and you need it, like when people are old like Old Bardstown. Old Bardstown's the other one, actually. Thank you, Nick. Ah, In yes, this. that's right. Thank you. So when people come to me for like birthdays or holidays and they're like, I need to find a bottle of Blanton's and I need it by tomorrow. What can I do? I'm like, you can go to Justin's because they're going to have, like, they almost always have Blanton's on the shelf. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is a little bit more than what you would normally pay, but I call that a convenience fee. Like you cannot walk into most other places. So if you don't want to hunt and you don't want to wait in a line or anything, like... If you just want to walk in and buy it because your dad's birthday is this weekend, this is where you need to come. Boom. Uh, someone asked Boom. what city. It's Lexington. Lexington. Lexington, Kentucky. That's where this is located. Oh, and there's one opening in Louisville mm-hmm. in like a week or two, I think. Maybe next week. And it has a bigger capacity for the tasting mm-hmm. uh, areas. So I might have my thinking cap on about that. I don't know. There's no pie. That's right. There's, there. no pie. There's no Mammy's Kitchen, but we'll see. That's we'll where see. it it, uh, it pays to be a patron. It does pay Patreon. to be a patron. Patreon.com slash 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 is the word. What's slash? <laughs> slash. It's bourbon night. Um, mm-hmm. That's where you get the info about our meetups and stuff. And it sounds like I'm that might thinking, be in the future. I'm, I'm cooking something up for maybe spring 2020, late spring, early summer. I don't know. So what do you think about this Kentucky Vintage? I mean... 90 proof. I think it's really hard to follow um, what we just had. It is. The proof is nice. It does hang around. Yeah. It's, I'm thinking that this hmm. isn't Willett's Distillate. It has a small touch of that, like, their signature flavor profile mm-hmm. that I think kind of leans on the licorice side. Um, not a lot, though. So I, I'm i going to vote that this is majority pre their Distillate. Sure. Yeah, yeah, it could be. I think it's uh, it's it's pretty solid. I think I like the proof of the Pure Kentucky XO. Yes. Better, which is one hundred seven. If it's I'm remembering right. Yep. Um, I think I do like this better than Old Bardstown. And thank you again for reminding us that Old Bardstown is thank also you. in the boutique uh, collection from Willet. Um, but you can't beat a good bottle of Noah's Mill, and I say a good bottle. Meaning that one year. <laughs> <laughs> Because we've had an amazing, like, peanut butter, creamy bottle, and then we've had one that's like, this doesn't taste anything like it. Do you remember what the code was on that one? 1649. 1649 on that Noah's Mill. So I think it was a 2016. Such a good bottle. Yeah. And we've tried to find bottles, like, bottles more recently, and it's just not the same. Yeah. Hmm. This is. We got people on. This is solid, and I think this is around 30 bucks, 30, 35, around in that area. And um, I think it's I think it's sometimes forty. Yeah, it's it pretty depends. good. This is a eighteen ten, so it's probably twenty eighteen mm. bottle. Nice. Ten, maybe that's October. I don't know. I'm really excited good for job. what's next. Well, Jen. not 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 if there's a forty nine. That wouldn't make sense. Show us what's next. Okay. <gasps> oh, Old Chad moves. It's <laughs> slow. Oh man, is this brand new? Uh, David. Oh. No, it's not. No. no. Oh, this is a surprise. Slatch is the guitarist for Guns N' Roses. Slatch. Guns N' Rosé. <laughs> Guns N' Rosé. There you go. Yeah. That's hilarious. Um, David says, congrats on the recent nuptials. Started out watching Bourbon Guild until their demise. Which we still don't know all the details on that, but that's sad. Right, right. Um, 
then switch to the Whiskey Vault tribe. Mm -hmm. um, Whiskey Vault slash tribe. All right, let's 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 show them what this is. Sure. Or do you want to read something else? I was going to say, uh, Swan brought up that you can acquire about bottles history and even sell bottles. Um, from your collection. From your collection. They so have they like, do, a, like a um, consignment. consignment. You can yeah. do that as well. Mm -hmm. This is something we are looking ooh, ooh, ooh. very forward to pouring. This is the Wild Turkey Tribute. This is the U.S. version. There's also an yes. export version. It's a 15-year um, to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Master Distiller Jimmy, Jimmy Russell. Russell. He picked the bottles. So, but they um, thought. He thought. Yeah, so it is um, a small batch. It's 101 proof. And he thought, when they asked him to select these bottles, that he was going to be picking... Um, because he was like, well, what could they be asking me to do this for? He was like, well, it's like the 150th anniversary of Austin Nichols as a company. So it's probably for that. Unknowingly, he's picking them for his 50th, 50th anniversary. anniversary celebration. Uh, how amazing is that? That he was like, he had picked his own celebration bottles and he didn't even know. How sweet. Todd Cooper, what do you mean by that? I don't want to read that out loud. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is from 2004. By the way, 2004. Yeah. Ready? I like mean, super generous of that. They picked this for us. It's not an uncorking, but it's pretty new. It's pretty I'm new. I wonder if we can get a good, hold Take on, a, I'm going to do a little. Do a little of that, yeah. and then get you a good cork pot. <gasps> yep. Ooh. It does look like a Russell's Reserve bottle. So this is yeah. the, I think this is the Russell's bottle. The export version, I believe, is bottled in the old Kentucky Spirit uh, turkey plumage bottle. Plumage. Limited, so that you can tell the difference. Limited edition small batch bottle <laughs> 2033 of 5,500. Wow. So only 5,500 bottles. And not only do they have this on the tasting bar, they have bottles of this for sale. For so sale. call them and inquire. They can ship. I'm just saying... Or, the, to the you know places that allow. Yes. With restrictions. Yes. You know. Of course. There's, like every other place. Of course there's always restrictions on There's shipping. always restrictions. But okay. call them and just call to inquire. Yeah. Just call. Just that, call. That's enough. Okay. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> yeah. it's so beautiful. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. Um man. Oh. You know we love us some wild turkey. A fifteen year old and this is uh, 101 proof, right? Oh, yeah. So nice. A 15 year old 101 proof. This is like Master's Keep territory nowadays. You know, that came out with the 17 year, but I don't even think that was 101 proof. I can't remember the proof. I now. just, we had a taste of this, or was it the tradition, or was it both? It in was, Chicago at Delilah's, which is I'm, my favorite place in Chicago. I wanna say it was tradition. I think it was tradition. Yeah. And I've been adoring these bottles ever since and mm -hmm. every time i go somewhere and i see one i'm like how much does that cost oh okay maybe next maybe next year um wow this doesn't have the normal i have inquired about this before for you as a christmas oh, yeah? slash birthday present <laughs> just mm -hmm. so you know nice it's a this doesn't have the typical turkey nose no but it has a vintage nose and it's it does it's magic for 2004 i mean yeah 2004 vintage i mean that's almost 16 years ago and it's a 15 year old so do you do math it's older than me technically yeah in the bottle <sighs> can i say it smells juicy <laughs> it does <laughs> i mean how much i don't actually know how much this is at the tasting bar and i don't know how much it is at by the bottle out there like we said some other stuff that they do whew, is like consignment and some of it they just have the vintage shop so i think it just depends on what their inventory is at the time um, yeah, there's no, yeah, we don't have, there's no anything. sticker. Um, and some of the vintage bottles have like a ask for price. Um, yeah. they released this in 2004. Oh, it so good. It's like, I don't know, like melted brown sugar amazingness. What? I he want, wants to uh, drink it. I'm trying to help walk them through. Oh, so good. Whoa. And whoa. Mm. Oh, it t it maintains that. This yeah. is weird. With that juiciness, mm -hmm. but you get that nice, like, oak. It's it's a little little dry on the finish, but I like it. 
I'm not long really so finish. much getting dry. At it least made not yet. my mouth water. Yes, it's savory as it's hell. It's so savory. It's like barbecue or a, or a you know medium rare steak. It's just <laughs> it's Homer Simpson. <laughs> and now you know how Chad feels about medium rare steak. <laughs> Big win 130. We be posting an uncorking of Maker's Mark RC6. We, we do, do have, have that bottle. bottle. We have not filmed an uncorking. It. it is a big possibility. Uh, but we have a couple things that we're really excited about uncorking wise we want to get out first. So along with, you know, flight fights and other episodes. So What's no the word? It's in line. It's in line. It's no, in the queue. No guarantees, but it is in the queue. Mm. Thank you for I that. Got some cork. Super chat? Yes, thank you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm like, you'll give us another full on, co like a minute of that in a little bit. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite wild turkey? Is that rail? Is that how you say it? Rail Knox? Um, I don't know. I love a good Russell's Reserve pick. Me too. We did a oh, we did a pick. To go pick. Yeah. It tasted like I think we should cake. since they're no more. We should just call it the Bourbonite pick because we pick. kind of persuaded them to get that. Barrel. <laughs> we may have twisted some arms. Yeah, because it was so good and everyone was so happy. With and then it, it sold out. <laughs> it was it was called Warehouse Delicious because it came out. It came from Warehouse D. If James Wolverton's in the chat, he knows what's up. Yeah, exactly. Um, and a, a, a good Russell's pick is amazing. If we still have a bottle of that, we should like auction off samples. Man, I say that. Okay. Don't pressure me. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Um, of course, Wild Turkey 101, I think it's very underrated. It's so strong for the price. I gotta say, I love a vintage turkey from the yes, 80s. Something from the 80s. Late 70s, 80s. That is the sweet spot, man, for turkey. Yeah. Oh, it's so insane how much flavor. And that Master's Keep rye that just came Ooh, out this the year. The Cornerstone is Cornerstone really good. is rather, rather That's good. That's just like apples and oranges, though. Like vintage 80s, you know, 70s, 80s turkey versus the Cornerstone rye. It's like... I tell you what, though, Sarah, you're right. This does have a lot of the vintage mm -hmm. type of feel on this. Right, but normally we get that from, like, when we've done uh, stuff. tastings at um, uh, the Beaumont Inn in uh, Harrodsburg, Kentucky, at the mm -hmm. Old Owl with Dixon. Mm -hmm. He will no he likes to pull out a, a vintage turkey every now and then, and we yep. usually get that off of that. Yep. But this being 2004, it's not what I was expecting. But I think it's perfect with the proof because sometimes those older ones are lower proof. This is mind blown. It's so good. Um, well, you gotta think this was distilled in '91, if I'm doing my math right. Mm -hmm. And then it aged for 15 years. So no, oh, it was didn't. Was it '91? 2004? '89? 15 years? Yeah. '89. Sorry. You're good. If my math is right, which it's not. It's not. So this was distilled when you were born. Then it aged 15 years. It came out in 2004. And now here we are drinking it in 2019. So, uh, Now yes. I feel like I need this. It's so special to me. Yeah. Jay says, thank you for the note with the Texas coin. Great touch. You we like welcome. to write notes. We, yeah. Everything we send out, we put a little, little hand, handwritten note. Yes. If it's messy handwriting, I wrote it. If it's beautiful handwriting. She wrote it. That's right. Here lately, it's been more messy handwriting. That's okay, though. Yeah. All right. It's the thought that counts. Kilco also had a tasting in the new vault with Zach. Nice. nice. Very so, cool. So, Kilco was saying that the day he was in Austin at the Crowded Barrel Distillery uh, is the day that our episode about the Crowded Barrel Distillery and the Bastards Ball came out. Which we just put out on Friday. <laughs> yeah, that's You should go Friday watch episode. it. You should watch it, yeah. It's fun. It's full of uh It's com very community-based. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a great time. Swan wasn't even born in a Well, he just a little baby. <laughs> no, we love you, Swan. Mm. This, I'm going to... It's very different. You know what? I'm going to save the rest of this for the end. Yeah. Is that okay? Someone was asking if it was nutty. It's not. It's not... Third sip, I'm getting a little bit on the finish. Nuttiness. I think what overwhelms... It's not rich. overwhelms you, but what comes to the front in the, uh, in the first couple sips is just this... Oily, this exceptional mouthfeel. I'd like to roll the clip. Uh, yeah, but yeah, it's not cute. I've been very lenient on that lately. Yeah, yeah but yes, I appreciate I it. Have. Um, this savoriness is what you like completely concentrate on in the beginning, and then you start dissecting it. And I, I do, you know, I start to get a little bit of the barrel, a little bit of, there's definitely a little bit of tobacco in there. There is. Yeah. Um, 
It's real nice. It's real nice. Yeah, I'm gonna say my. It's also I'm too. feeling things now. You feeling things? I'm getting you feelings. feelings. Yes, I'm getting feelings. Um, go. I'm gonna save that, put that mm -hmm. aside because that's extra special. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk about what's next. Cool. Let's do that. What are you guys drinking? <clears throat> yeah, what's everyone? Uh, what's everyone drinking on? Okay, this is something I am super excited about. Um, have such admiration for them. So I'm pleased that we will be able, oh, it's not even open. Hey, this is gonna be a live on Corking. Good. Oh, I didn't even know it wasn't Sweet. open. So this is the Pursuit series. Um, <clears throat> this is a collaboration with Justin House of Bourbon. So this is exclusive. They're the only brick and mortar store uh, in the state that you can get this at. Um, it's sourced. Well, it's from Dickel. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 110 proof, 14 year old, non chill filtered, and uh, the collaboration, like the date on the collaboration, was uh, October of this year. So it's mm -hmm. very, very recent. Um, so Kenny and Ryan at the Bourbon Pursuit, when they do their picks for these things, they're rumored to be. I haven't spoken with them directly on this, but super selective yeah. and like. You know, turning away things that just because you can doesn't mean you should, right? Right. So they're looking for something that's super unique, um, not the norm, maybe sometimes a little bit out there. So I'm really excited to try this because we've never gotten to have one of their bottles before. Yes. And they're doing something that I really feel like no one else is doing. I haven't seen anyone else bottling under their own label like this. No, it's super cool. It's and insane. If, if you, if you guys, such admiration. If you guys listen to the Bourbon Pursuit podcast, raise your hand in the chat. Um, you know, I know Fred Minnick is, is now on their uh, podcast. He does, he does a thing there. Um, and it's, you know, they're just, they're really doing it right. And they're kind of, I would say they're kind of blowing up. You know, now they're doing their own bottles. They have a, Really strong Patreon community and just community in general. Yeah. Really cool guys, and we've met them before, and they're stand-up like, so stand nice. dudes, so we, we definitely recommend them. Yeah. Pause for Cork Pop. You get Pretty in good. person exactly what you would expect, which yeah. is super oh. nice people. Oh, wait. Nutty. Like pecan It nutty. is. Pecan. Okay. I, I, I see you, Pursuit. I see, I see you. you. I see you. James Neal wants to know what makes a better Christmas gift: Booker's 2019-03 Country Ham or Four mm. Roses Single Barrel? I'd say Country Ham. You think so? Yes. Hmm. Are we talking just on the shelf single barrel of Four Roses? I don't know. Just like the regular old 100 proof single barrel. In that case, then yes, the Booker's. But yes. it really just depends on your drinker too. Who who's the gifty? Yeah, I mean, I need to know more. We haven't had the 04, but so far the 03 has been our. Far and away our favorite bookers of 2019. Yeah. Yeah. I have a problem recently where people are like, I need something for $100 that's super exclusive that you can't get anywhere else, but it needs to be under $100 and I need to go be able to buy it tomorrow. And I'm like... Watch me as I pull a rabbit out of my head yeah, <laughs> for I my next trick. I don't like, have any idea. Also, tell me more about who you're buying it for. What do they like? What do they not like? How and usually they they're like, drinking? oh, I don't know. They're like, I'm like, well, what do they like? They're like, I don't know. They drink makers sometimes. I'm like, good to know. Do you need more water? I will take some more water. Thank sure. you, Chad. Yes, absolutely. Um, that is literally the most difficult question ever. I'm like, I need more information. And I'll be like, well, you could get them something like Blanton's, <clears throat> which is always just an impressive gift for people. Like, people just like that. Um... And they're like, no, no, I want something more special. And I'm like, I have no idea. Do you want to go stand in line this Saturday for eight hours to try to get something more special? Because I don't know what to tell you. Um, you know what? I'm really glad that we are doing this whew, on the back such pecan. of the turkey. Because I'm sort of picking up that same like <laughs> juicy, juicy nose. But, but this, this has this nuttiness that you don't get in a Heaven Hill or a, or a Jim Beam. It's pecans. It's pecans. Absolutely. This is like a pecan crusted. Can you, can you do like a pecan crusted pork chop or uh, something? I would love that, please. Thank you. It's uh, very right. savory. Again, the particulars on this. Uh, it's a 14 year old, 110 proof, non chill filtered, um, 
This is episode 14, single barrel, uncut, unfiltered. So, like roasted, toasted, however you do it, toasted, slightly candied pecans. Oh, yeah. And ham. Oh, yeah, country ham. It sort, sort of has this... Sort of smoky country s- ham. Salty sort of... Um, salty smoke. Salty kind of smoke. Kind of, um, it's ham. Though this is savory too. It yeah, really two is. Two savory ones in a row. That like sm- smokiness from that oh, sticks around. This is definitely different than, you know, your typical. This Right, which is apparently like what they're looking for. It's mm-hmm. not well, your average. Like think, they're looking for something unique. I think they um, got it. I also think that they got it. They nailed it. Where was it distilled? This is Dickel. Tennessee. Tennessee. Bottled in Louisville, Kentucky. Mm. Hmm. No, that's good. The the 110 proof is showing. It's got some punch. It's got a little bit a little bit of tongue punch there. Um I can't get over the pecans and the I ham. I know. It's it's super unique in that in that area. I mean, it feels like you should chew it. Yeah. Pretty good, uh, pretty good mouthfeel. Borderline exceptional. Um. Mm, wow. Colt says, in three words, what do you look for in the perfect bourbon? Also, uh-huh. what are you guys keeping in the jars above your mantle? Um, what am I looking for in the perfect bourbon? I'm looking for viscosity. I'm looking for flavor. And finish. I'm looking for a hug. Mm-hmm. I need a hug. Um, so, think, so proof, not to make a four. Proof, but well, that helps with the hug. Yes. Yeah. Um, but no, no. This I, is not our mantle. We are on location, so I. I think it's those jars grains. look like they're full of grains. Probably to wheat, illustrate what goes into this. wheat, barley, rye, corn. Yeah. If I had to venture, I guess definitely corn. <laughs> the one on the um, mm. there. <laughs> yes, Swan's pointing out this is 150. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is on the higher end, but again, extra exclusive. Like if you apparently like the normal, normally the Pursuit Series picks don't make it outside of their Patreon group. Like mm-hmm. they're snatched up. Um, yeah, again, first so, brick and mortar to have one. Right, and the only place where you can get one in Kentucky, brick and mortar. So, um, so if you want to walk in the store and pick one up and not have to. So you could, I don't know what a what a pour of this is at the tasting bar. No. But you could go have a pour. If you, if you like, like it, it, they. Uh, your your tasting cost goes towards your bottle purchase. Thank you. You're welcome. I was trying to think of the word. Hmm. There's a word. I don't know. It's. Transfer? Uh, you, you get Attributed. It. Attributed? <laughs> It's you're, you're, it's, you're, it's cited. It's uh, it goes for us. Someone get a thesaurus out. You know what I'm trying to say. You all get it. You get it. You all get it. Um, <clears throat> ben says I don't understand what everyone's obsession with Buffalo Trace products is. Ben, I think this is the great thing about the industry is because like, there's a large group of people who are obsessed, and then there's those of us, not me. I mean, I'm not saying I am or I'm not obsessed. Mm-hmm. Um, but people who are like, I don't get it but I'm obsessed with Four Roses or I'm obsessed with Willet or I'm obsessed with Wild Turkey or Jim Beam. And so that's why like... I think everyone fanboys to a to certain distillery. Right? And I think it's great though because it leaves more... It leaves a wide variety, a rainbow of bourbon for the rest of us. I mean, us, you have you your, will. your Willet nuts, like the um, you know, exploratory cask, the Willet family estate. Mm-hmm. You know, they know they know the barrel number. They know the... They you are, know, I have a... A, a friend who is a Four Roses and a Willet fanboy. Yes. And by a friend, I mean what Iverson would, and what OBC. What would ours be? Because I feel like we are for for Heaven Hill. Uh, well, I think we might be <laughs> a little bit different. We are for Wild Turkey. We are for Jim Beam. We are for Jim Beam. We are for some Four Roses LEs. For some Buffalo Trace. For some Buffalo Trace. I think we... Well, we spread out because we're coverage. We spread out. We do spread out. Different days yeah. require a different pour. Yeah. Ooh, this is making me feel it's my my eyeball <laughs> feeling a little numb. It definitely, I guess you can't call it a Kentucky hug, but it has. A we hug. are Booker's nuts. We are Booker's nuts. That's true. And turkey nuts. And a Heaven Hill nut. Okay. This shirt's from Heaven Hill. I realize 
It says whiskey is my favorite oh, we're, color. Oh, we're wearing three Heaven Hill things. We are, and I, that was not even planned. Not sponsored by Heaven Hill. <laughs> not in any way sponsored by Heaven Hill, except for that old rifle. If anything, sponsored by Justin's House of Bourbon, because they are providing the pours for us today. Thank you. Yes. Of course, all reviews are our own. We're not going to say we like something. because. Well, it's, it's not like they made it. <laughs> no, they didn't make it. But just like they help you put together a tasting, they did mm. kind of help us pull together like they did. what would be the best, not the best representation, um, what's the word? The most variety. Like a good cross something section. from this. A good cross section. Thank you. Yeah. For helping me find uh, the words. So we're down with a 15 minute stretch and we get two more bourbons to taste. I think we are just going to Maybe go just a hair until into overtime. four o'clock. Oh. Um, or there's about. Well, until we get these other two. Yes, we'll we'll get these other two done, but we're we're probably not going to go super into extra innings because. Because you know they got business to do. They have business. They got the business. Oh, uh, so who pointed out that the writing on my shirt? The Linux cat says the writing on my shirt matches my jacket. That was not by accident. Wow. I'm a planner. Uh, Rodney says it's crazy how much you two have cost me the last couple of months. We're. S Sorry, sorry, not sorry. I'm not really sorry. <laughs> I mean, I think we mean to say you're welcome. Because now you have great whiskey. Hopefully. Drew says, still waiting on my <clears throat> price. It's Bourbon Night Swag. Right. Yes, Drew. Yes. Thank you. I think you and him have spoken and I don't <laughs> we know have any. In, we have in the... We I'm have, not privy to this conversation. We have in the email. The only thing that... Well, can't really say that. I would just email you. I will email you. You owe him an email. I do. Okay. I will do that tonight. You have my word. Whiskey Register says November is officially Wild Turkey Month. Oh, I bet you can guess what our Thanksgiving episode is going to be themed around. There you go. There we go. So what we have up next is a Knob Creek Select Rye. This is Kentucky's own. It's 115 proof as all the uh, single, single barrel, barrel select. Knob Creek Select Ryes are. Mm -hmm. It's about six years old. Yep. Just a hair under is my understanding. Mm -hmm. Just a hair. Barreled. Well, if you want to do the math, it was barreled on October 8th, 2013. Mm -hmm. And selected on... Just two days after my birthday. There you go. March 12th, 2019. Nice. So, um, uh, this is... So, so yeah. Speak about Kentucky's Own. Well, Kentucky's get Own... Get your glass. It, I will get a glass. Uh, Kentucky's Own is... Um, a series of picks that uh, Fred No did himself, and they wanted to keep it in the state. Master Distiller. Master Distiller of Jim Beam. Sorry, for those who don't know. I assume too much sometimes. Um, so he picked these to stay in the state and go to select retail stores. So not everyone has these. This is a limited series. He, if, it, if Fred No picked it himself, you know, I got to trust that he knows what he's doing because yeah. he... He does select all the bookers that I know and love. Um, yeah, so only stores in Kentucky, but spread across Kentucky. We saw this in a liquor store in Bardstown. In Bardstown. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can check. Um, I don't know the full list of stores that have it. We did see that one. I haven't seen another one except for here. Mm -hmm. um, it's possible that you can get samples at bars. Like, I think that they had oh, mentioned yeah. that Bluegrass Tavern, which is also downtown Lexington, Kentucky. They have an amazing selection. Um but obviously it's a bar, no retail, so uh, you buy by the taste, um, which you can also do here. They have some by the poor. But yeah, uh, we had not heard of this until we walked into that store in Bardstown, saw it there, and then saw it again here. And you know I love a good Knob Creek Rye single barrel. Ugh, it's so good. Hey, thank you, Swan, for spreading that gospel. He says, let's get some likes, y'all. It helps expand the family and gets us more opportunities like today's Justin's theme live. Hit that thumbs up. Thank you for that. Yeah. It is always cool. It does help out. Um, it truly does. The channel. Oof. Uh, you know, the thing about, the thing about Jim Beam. This Bean, is a departure from what we just had. Well, think about their mash bill. And, 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 you know, I brought up Fred Medic earlier. He's always trying to get the Jim Beam mash bill when he's talking to Fred or Freddie, you know, they don't, <laughs> they don't release it. Always on that mission. I want to say God love him for trying. that it is a lower rye, rye mash bill. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's barely legal or not. I feel like it's not just barely legal. Like the Heaven Hill stuff. Yeah. It might be a little bit higher, but it's not like a 95.5, sure. you know. Speaking of Fred Minnick, 
He's doing some cool things on YouTube. You should go check it out. Oh, yeah. He's, he's doing a Pappy versus the Field right now, which you should just go check out the episode. I could explain it to you, but... Yeah. Um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Like, that, I, Well, one, it's pretty cool that he has that much Pappy to like... To do versus, to, to the, versus field. the Field. So, got it. Yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah. But no, he's he's kind of recently started a YouTube channel. And we've, we've been checking it out. And it's pretty cool, so... Yeah, it's really cool. shout out to him. Go subscribe. Gotta support that bourbon fam. <laughs> I don't tea. know. It yes, tea, spiced, spiced tea, spiced. Uh, like if you were to make a hot toddy mm, but with tea. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it's it? It's got like a little citrus in there, like a little lemon. Yes. Oh, it's sort of like a spiced hot toddy almost. That's, I'm sorry. Can I get a replay? Did I you say just that? said it's like a hot toddy, but I don't believe you. Well, hot toddies are with tea, and so I don't know why I said it's like a hot toddy, but with tea. Hot toddies are made with tea. Duh. I just said that. Can someone please confirm that uh, I said... I'm sorry. This is a live episode. You can't replay it. So. Yeah, they're going to tell you. Except the replay. Um, yes. It's like a spiced hot toddy. <laughs> I literally just said that. There's like some lemon in it. I know you said that. Oh, Chad Swanson. <laughs> Wow, this is He a, never listens to me. It is straight up wow. tea. It almost has a rum flavor to it. It really a does. spiced rum. Yeah, it's got like... This would be perfect Some in island, a hot toddy. Uh, like those tea bitters. It's got like an island sort of... Mm, just a little. Vibe. Mm. It does taste like that tiki bitters. Ooh. This is... They're, con they're all <laughs> confirming that yeah, I was right. Whatever. Fake news. Fake news. This is the most unique pick of their rye that I've had. I 100% agree and I've only had two sips of it. So obviously I can see how this came from the master distiller of Jim Beam. He picked a unique barrel for, for this particular but single like, barrel it's of one Kentucky's of the, own. It's one of those things where like sometimes people do picks and there's, you know, there's kind of a scale and some people are like, oh, I want to be really close to home. I want it to taste just like what I think a Knob Creek rye should taste like. And some people are like, I want it to taste absolutely out there like so funky. crazy fringed like funk yeah and then you find something that's in the middle that's like a cousin of but still a departure from yes and i think this is where it's at like it's got its own totally unique flavor profile but i can still see how it links back tell you what this right? is a the breadcrumbs yes it leaves the breadcrumbs this is a real easy drinker for 115 proof I'll it say that. really is so this is 50 a bottle yeah. Um, which is a fair price for a Knob Creek pick, so we've learned. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, Glenn and Kathy, Golf Whiskey, hey, hey. say, rule number one, Sarah is right. Rule number two, see rule number one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. What kind of tea, Casper wants to know, in Earl Grey, English breakfast? <laughs> Stop saying, I don't know what that is. Um Sleepy time tea. <laughs> it's almost got, I think it's Earl Grey because it has like, Earl Grey has that thing in it and I can never remember what it's called, but it's got like a slight fruitiness. Oh man. No, this is totally. It's a specific a, thing. This is totally a tea bag like steeping. It could also be green tea. In, yes. Um, I got to back up that rum statement, though. You I, know what? Mm. I want a bottle of this, and I want to make Cindy's Old Fashioned. Mm. So Cindy's Old Fashioned is you make simple syrup. For anyone who doesn't know how to make simple syrup, just Google it. Um, it's easy. It's to you know, equal parts sugar, water, uh, boiled, melted, blah, blah, blah. But you then steep two bags of an orange spiced black tea in there to make the simple syrup. So it's a tea-infused simple syrup, and then you make it with two ounces of this and a half an ounce to an ounce of the simple syrup um and cherry like they do aged cherry bitters mm -hmm. you, but we've used tiki bitters it's very good with any kind of bitters like that um people are saying bergamot the, that's bergamot. what it is that's what it is that's the fruity kind of it smells like fruity pebbles to me huh. but it's something that's in um earl gray oh, okay that that this yes so I've I've got so to read. I would use this in Cindy's old fashioned. Tr is it Char Miller? Char Char Miller. Charlie Miller. Okay. Charlie Miller. 
Uh, Charmander. I don't know. Charmander. So. <laughs> no, Charlie Miller. <laughs> this, is, this is really good. This is really nice. I have to read it. You have one of the highest discrepancies of quality content and audience, audience numbers that I've ever seen on YouTube. Keep doing what you're doing. Live long and prosper. Thank you. We appreciate How do you that. Live long and prosper. That, yeah. It's hard. I don't know what it is. As a Star Wars it, fan, I can't. In my do, mind, my, fing do that my fingers don't want to do it. <laughs> As you can see, my hand is like, I'm trying to force it and it, it won't go. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Cheers to that. Thank, Thank you. you for the compliment. I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, mm. This is a unique mm. one. All right. Does anyone else think that Earl Grey smells like Fruity Pebbles? Because I think Lining Kugels taste like Fruity Pebbles. Well, yeah. I'm going to have to stand up. Chad's going to stand up. Whoa, he killed that. He killed it. I killed it. But can I just bring this back? Because it's so cute. Do what you want. I'm going to take so many pictures of this for Thanksgiving. They could be fighting, this owl and this turkey, but I'm going to pretend like they're friends and they're like, what up, girl? <laughs> <laughs> hey, girl, hey. Hey, girl, hey, is the caption that I'm going to use. Uh, isn't it beautiful? They just, why don't they do stuff like this anymore? I think they think the market for that stuff is over. It's not over. over. We love this stuff. Like... I used to do pottery and take pottery in like painting classes and we would I would totally have picked something like this to paint. The level of craftsmanship that went into this teeny tiny what is basically an airplane bottle <laughs> decanter. So it couldn't have cost that is much. It's amazing. What? The craftsmanship. I know, but I'm saying the fact that it only had an airplane's bottles worth of liquor. Maybe in twenty there. bucks. Thirty bucks. Maybe. But I don't even know what year, like I don't when know what year from. either, but this, well, does this tax strip say? No, it doesn't no, say. Maybe on the box. We'll have to do some we'll research. Look, we'll we'll do put some it research. on our, put it on so our Instagram. Cool. Ooh, someone calls for, Orlando calls for wild turkey versus Kentucky owl. <gasps> I see what you did there. I love what you did. <gasps> You're a genius, sir. <laughs> Oh, we can do the confiscated versus the finished. Oh, I don't know about that. We'll do it. Maybe. We'll Maybe. see when that fits in. Wait, confiscated is a bourbon. Right. Yeah. Versus. But it's finished versus a master's keep finished. Oh, I see. Yeah. All right, cool. We're going to do four gate here to wrap, uh, to end the show with a, with a nice pour here. Yes. Um, There's a lot of information about this. All right. Well, give me a, your last clean, clean Karen. I have so many extra pours just hanging around that I'm going to have to finish at the end. Label of out, Sarah. Come on. We're trying to give him a little plug here. Who's it? <laughs> oh, my bad. Sorry. Sorry. Um... Trixmot said, hello, Sarah. Saw you at the BTAC lottery. What a cold morning. Yeah, I was freezing, but I put my bourbon coat on. And then, today, and then I took an early nap. And today it's like 70 out or we, something. It is. Like, so, it's like 68. Yeah. Ugh. We did not win anything. Nope. So sad. Um, Neither did Swan. Anyways. There's three of us there. It's okay. You can't win every year. And we were very hashtag blessed last year. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, four gate. This is batch two, also known as the Outer Loop Orbit. I don't know what that means. Uh, it is 120.3 proof. Outer Loop. That's. That sounds like New Circle. Like, it sounds like a book. Are you in? Outer Limits was that book that yeah. I read. It's very middle school, uh, like also science a TV fiction. show, Outer Limits. Oh yeah. Um, like so, you know, Inner Loop, Outer Loop. Yeah, yeah. New Circle, which if you thing. ever come to Kentucky and you ever come to Lexington and you ask about New Circle, they'll describe it to you as, it's a wheel with a spokes. <laughs> and then every time you try to tell someone who's been here before, they're like, we get it. We it's get a it. wheel, it's with, a wheel spokes. with spokes. Moving on. That's a very inside inside baseball stuff. But yeah. um, So this is a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Uh, it's a blend of five and a half and 12 year. So what they do is they age it in X orange curacao gin casks which means that they were orange curacao casks that age gin and now age this blend of five and a half and twelve year so it's a whole thing it's a whole thing very unique though so it's you don't see a lot of people doing yeah, like finished. curacao gin casks not something that you see very often it's a limited release obviously um it says this limited release was blended and finished only or in only the finest casks in collaboration with Kelvin Cooperage. Mm. 
uh, bottled by Four Gate you Whiskey Company. You have a lovely Kelvin shirt. <laughs> I do. That I love. Bardstown, Kentucky. Uh, this is around two hundred dollars retail, I believe. It's one hundred and twenty point three proof. And that's how the amount number two, I've seen as, that you, everywhere. as you said. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's a barrel finished product. We had what did we have yesterday at Liquor Barn on the tasting bar? Down home. Down home. Twelve year. Um, pretty good. Pretty good. It was pretty good. It was like twelve dollars for the tasting. It was. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. But see, like, that's what I love about places that have tasting bars is that I might be curious about a bottle here or like liquor bar and they, the you, one that we have in be, Hamburg. You might be bourbon curious. I might be bourbon curious. I'm <laughs> pregnant. Why is he getting all the shout outs today? Because we had that Pursuit series. It's true. And he's on the podcast. And he's on the podcast. And we talked about. Whoa, citrus. That other thing. Oh, Pappy versus the field. Yeah. It's Pappy season. Um. But, oh, sorry, go ahead. Tasting bars are great because you can pay less for a taste. And how cool is it when you can put your barrel pick, I'm a big fan of people putting their barrel picks on tasting bars because how am I supposed to know if I should spend $5 more? Exactly. Should I spend $5 more on your pick of blah, 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 or just get the regular off the shelf? How should I know if your single barrel is good? Oh, you're going to give me a taste for $3? Or here, you're gonna give me a taste for X dollars, and then that comes off the bottle if I decide to buy it. Like, wasn't it a dollar for the rye or something? I don't even know. I think that's what Caroline said. What? That's a steal for <laughs> yeah. a taste <laughs> yeah. of that, which is like uh, don't super ooh, interesting. Don't, don't quote, quote him. me. Be like, well, Chad said he does not work here. He's not a representative. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> Offers an exclusion for the apply. <laughs> Tax and license. Yeah. <laughs> Offers exclusion. Um, I'm going to get in trouble. All of the tiny um, texts yeah, all, the all, the, all, the, all the fast talking texts that they speed up three times. We should do that. Totally. In an episode. It'll be funny. This has a potpourri nose. You definitely get the orange You're not curacao kidding. On there. The gin. And the juniper in the gin. The herbal from the gin is like... Totally, it's you took gin, you took like a juniper smell from gin and you I combine get... it with this is gonna sound bad, but a lemon slash orange scented cleaner. Now that sounds bad, but you're meaning excuse me on the hiccups. I I can only pull you're up you're making it in a potpourri type of yes, way. Yes, I can only pull up sensory memories, sure. and that's a sensory memory. Um, it's... Amanda's gonna need to try this. Okay. Amanda is a dear friend who cannot bake or cook anything bad. This is true. We can all confirm. She has convinced me that I do not love pumpkin pie. I love kushaw pie. Kushaw pie. Whoa. It's totally gin. You get the gin on the nose. Yes. And the orange. But also the bourbon. This and I've is... been more open to gin after Castle and Key. They did their yeah, regular gin tour. and their uh, their autumn release. Yeah. Wow. Man. Okay. This is Drew knows. Drew knows what's up. Don knows what's up. This is really Todd um, knows what's up. Going all over, all over the mouth. This is all over oh, the mouth. cat in the wall, eh? Yeah, this is that's where you were at level wise. <laughs> yeah, what's that, Charlie? Charlie Day. This is all up on over the tongue. All up on your tongue. Ooh. And then also your cheeks and the roof of your mouth. This is a gin drinker's bourbon. For sure. This is an orange drinker. So a Florida person's oh. bourbon. I'm having a tough time with this. And I've just had one sip. It is pungent. It's super herbal. Yes. Um... Colt, you got my attention with the all caps, and that's the trick. But that's if everyone do starts doing it, then no one will yeah. get it. Uh, Chad, would you give a Midwinter's Night Dram another chance during the holidays? Yes. yes, we absolutely will. It's gotta be cold, I have to be in the holiday mood, that's there has right. to be Christmas music playing, there must be a I have to be in a treat. sweater, there has to be a fire, there's a lot of elements. We don't have a fireplace. Well, we'll just light a bunch of candles. <laughs> there's gotta be a lot of elements going on for me to be in the mood for uh, Midwinter's Night Dram. We just got a new act, act and scene. We did. Who did that come from? Uh, Off the top of my head, we don't have the paper here. And I know it. It's from Larry, right? I'm blanking. Yeah. 
You opened it, so I don't know. 100% <laughs> blanking. It's definitely on the docket for our sample shout-out. We're live. You can't have Total Recall, not the movie, but you can't have really good recall when you're live. Well, we have it on our docket at home listed. So when I write things down, they sometimes go out of my mind because now I've got them captured, and that's how I feel like... Because you can purge it. It's Yeah, we've purged it because it's on the list at home for next week's sample shout-out, and then we will tell you. It's but we do from, have a new one. It's from Harry. Harry, not Larry. Oh, oh Harry, and he did the Blanche Black. Yes. Yes. I'm just going through Stooges' names now. Harry, Larry, <sighs> Jerry. Yeah. Rick and Morty comes back tonight. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah. Yes. But we're not going to stay up till 11.30 to watch it because we're old. Um. <laughs> yeah, completely from Harry. I'm sorry I called you Larry. I'm a bad person. When but it's also the end of the when episode. When Larry met Sally. <laughs> when Larry met Sally. It's also the end of the episode, and I've been drinking, so Joe you can't really says, blame. Chad and Sarah, I'll provide the fireplace, dogs, and snow if you provide the perfect... You had right. me at dogs. <laughs> you had me at fireplace. Dogs. Oh, I love it. This is... Mm. This is... Definitely a thinker. Is it my favorite of the show? No. Do I like it? Yes. Okay. Do I answer my own questions? Sometimes. Yes. Actually, the more I sip it, the more it's growing on me. That the gin really does come through, it and I was not prepared for gin. Steep learning curve. I was not prepared for gin after what we've tasted today. I'm at the point right now it's got a good where it's feel. opening, and I'm liking where we're going. Mm -hmm. My first instinct was... Oh, great. There's Harry. <laughs> yeah, you messed up. <laughs> Done messed up. Yeah, Harry says it's Harry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. In, for shame. Just hang my head. Can you oh, believe? I'll just be down here for the rest of the show. So my first instinct with this was it would be excellent in a cocktail. And by in a cocktail, I mean like in a very specific old fashioned where the alcohol shines more. Yeah. But at $200 a bottle, is not everyone is looking for that to be what you put in a cocktail, right? I'm not saying bury it. I'm saying with the right citrus, mm -hmm. like and small accents of mm -hmm. an old fashioned, it mm -hmm. could really, really shine. Now we um, had we had batch one. That's the one that Iris and poured for us blind. Yes. And and we that, responded really well. Of that to blind it. flight, we put it first. That's true. We did do. We did. I forgot about that blind flight. I Iris like, at OBC Kitchen. I like batch one Hashtag better than batch two. OBC Kitchen. OBC Kitchen <laughs> oh God. We're just. Give Offers all, an exclusion to man apply. <laughs> all the shout outs today. Um, I'm, I'm just feeling generous. It's Thanksgiving no, month, Chad. It's, Give it's, thanks. Tis the season of giving. Tis the season of giving. Hashtags. If I had to rank batch one and batch two, I would put one over this one. I would put one over but this I one. But I like and appreciate the uniqueness of this one. I can tell you right now, I have never had another ex orange curacao gin finished. First ever. Straight Kentucky bourbon whiskey that was a five and a half and a 12 year blend. You put the straight before the Kentucky. Ah. Kentucky straight. Straight Kentucky. Kentucky, Kentucky straight, straight bourbon whiskey. Oh, my, I'm sorry. Sorry for not following the rules. <laughs> yes, Art. Sarah with an H has arrived. Get that Wendy's. Yeah, all I had this morning was a smoothie. True. I'm a big fan of Daily Harvest. I'm not going to lie. I'll also plug them. Do you think they'll pay me? Sarah, you are crazy. No one else we have three kids under seven, and I have work at 6 a.m. tomorrow, and my wife and I are not missing Rick and Morty for anything. Hashtag, Hashtag pickle, pickle Rick. Rick. I mean, let's be honest. We're going to DVR it and watch it tomorrow night. I might set my alarm for 11.30. 11.30 Go to bed is at really nine. late. <laughs> I might make it. I might. Yeah, Usually, we'll lately, I've we'll been see. getting in bed by 11. Yes, so Chaz I and Sarah it. with an H have arrived. Tis the season of releases. Someone asked, what's our favorite of the show? Mm, mm. You know what? what, what this what, isn't a fair. This isn't a fair This question. isn't a fair. This isn't a fair. Or, or a carnival. Or a carnival. This isn't... There's no rides here. It's not a fair question. It's sort of like Disney World for bourbon drinkers. But it's not a fair or a carnival. No, it's not. Joe says, speaking of gin, the new Riff Barrel Age gin is pretty darn good. I have not had the pleasure. Mm -mm. Um, this is actually growing on me the more I sip it. I still think it could benefit from a big ice ball, a couple drops of bitters, a little citrus, 
maybe a little simple syrup. And like in a fireplace. Or citrus or and some herbs. We got a rosemary, fireplace right here. Some rosemary. This could make a really good herbal old fashioned. Like, mm. but is that what you want to do with your two hundred dollar bottle? Mm. I don't know. It's growing on me though. I like the proof. I do like the proof. Well, it's hitting me in the face. One hundred twenty, so slapping me hard. Mm, What's our favorite? I'll tell you that. what the what the sleeper was of, t- of today's. Rick life. and Morty is a smart people show for smart people. Yeah, well, you said it. <laughs> The, the sleeper or the surprise of today's show, not, not that it was so much of a surprise, but the first one. The that old vintage. Kentucky rifle. At 80 proof, it was so much flavor. Let's be honest, that bottle is one of those ugly pretty bottles. Like, it's so ugly, it's, so it's ugly. gorgeous. It's just drop dead gorgeous. You just love it. I really liked the flavors and how just approachable was with that proof. It was really, really good. Today is a day of many favorites because I got to say... That turkey, though. That's why I'm saying it's not a fair contest. Yeah. That turkey, though. That turkey, though. A turkey. A turkey, though. But those two picks... That turkey, The difference that, like, if you're looking for something unique that you've never tasted before... That Pursuit series mm. with the pecans and the ham, mm. that was like eye-opening to me. I didn't know that whiskey could taste like that. Okay, I'll say this. And I love the tea aspect of that Knob Creek. It's all just like what you're into, right? But that turkey, though. <laughs> <laughs> with that Michelle Pfeiffer's? The Mo- Michelle, Michelle Pfeiffer's, Pfeiffer's, though. The Liam Neeson's? And if I'll you say don't this... know the Can Peel Valley skit, you need to yeah, go watch yeah, yeah, just, yeah. just YouTube it. Just YouTube it. You're I'll already say, on here. I'll say this about today's flight I'm gonna go back it to was tribute. really curated well and that speaks to justin south suburban they, they helped us they pick picked, these. they they i mean they, they wanted our us. input we were like ah that you know that looks we want to you know we, we did put our input in but they were like oh you have too many of this let's what do you think about subbing out this da, 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 da. they really guided they picked us some some stuff this one included that were very left of field, you know? I can say that each of the things we tried was individual and not like the other. Yes. It wasn't like we were just trying a bunch of stuff that's in the same wheelhouse yeah. and like... Everything was unique. I think that's why it's hard to choose because mm-hmm. each of these was so unique. We got a very, like you said, a cross section yeah. of what they have to this offer. This would have been an excellent um, fly fight. Like <gasps> so many different... It would have been a hard as hell fight fight because everything would have been so different from the next. You would have literally just been going though on what your, you, you on your yes because everything preference. is just so different. But wow, everything today was. I unique. gotta give our last shout out to them. A cheers to them for putting together an amazing selection for us. Thank you, Justin's House episode. of Bourbon. Thank you to the Justins. It is owned by, it two, is owned ju- by two. That's Justins. why it's J U S. T I N S apostrophe because it is two Justins. Two not... Justins, one house of bourbon. Oh my god. <laughs> in a world. In a world where there are two Where there's just... two Justins and only nine Jan Michael Vincents. <laughs> now we're going back to Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty if you Morty don't know, you're like, well, who's yeah. Jan Michael Vincent? You know, where there can only be It's just called two Justins. Seven Jan Michael Vincents. <laughs> Okay, we're getting slap happy. It's just called two Justins. It's just called two Justins. Um, and they're opening a new spot in Louisville, Louisville. so whether you're in Lexington or Louisville, check yeah. it out. Uh, it opens two weeks from now. Bourbon Review. There's also a magazine. The the, the you know um, and a website. Yes. You should go there. Bells, and they have merch. Bell's. Bell's Cocktail House. Cocktail House here. That's also a connection to this place because of one of the Justins. Because of the Justins, both of the both Justins. of the Justins. Sorry. It's okay. They'll, one of the Justins will free of you. Well, I was, saying, <laughs> I was thinking about the other brother who is not named Justin, who is Seth. Thompson. Yes. Yes. So the brother's Thompson, <laughs> but also the Justin. It's all. And there fun. are other people involved as well. Well, I know. Which you can't name. I know. It's okay. Don't try to name. I, the well, naming thing is always a bad idea. Yeah, it's a bad idea. It's always a bad idea. Um, and shout out to Caroline for helping us put a lot of this together and for, and, and for this. Yes. Cool. But you and know what? Brian Booth, who and is Brian not Booth. here today, yeah. but who is a master uh, extraordinaire of all things guiding you mm-hmm. through your bourbon purchase Absolutely. or your whiskey purchase. <clears throat> but look he can be in two places at left. once. Did you know that? I did. That's what I'm drinking. I'm drinking. I'm back to the turkey. I'm back to the tribute. 
This is just a tribute. <laughs> uh, Liddy's cat wants to know, is the 3 p.m. start time for fall winter? Um, we will be going with our 8 p.m. start time as our, what's the word? Um, like our standard time. Yeah. Uh, our fallback time will be 3 in the event that we need to do a special event here. If we have something going on a Sunday evening. Because, you know, it's getting to be holiday time. It's like... We also have family who demand our presence. <laughs> yeah. So basically Sometimes. it's going to be 8 p.m. Unless, unless otherwise noted. And we'll try to put out there. Like today we put it out on all the social medias. Mm -hmm. Hey, it's going to be 3 today. Um, and we'll try to do that earlier than <laughs> just like, yesterday and today. Yes. Yeah. Um, but back to this turkey though. Back to this turkey. Jeez. That gin finish really does hang around on that for you. Oh, it does. It does for sure. Yeah, we're back to our favorite. Let's just admit it. This I can't is the favorite. Lie, but tenacious D reference. Of all the things Maybe. that we've tried, like how can you blame us for loving this? You can't. You can't. But let's also weigh our options. Like of the things that we've tried, this is probably the most expensive, probably the most rare. Uh that Kentucky Rival though. Uh, that pure or that uh, Pursuit series though. Oh, I mean, if you're talking about the availability, most rare and avail. Like most? Well, who knows? Who knows? But who they knows? don't, it's a one time thing. Yeah. So. It just depends on how you look at it. it Perspective. Is. It's uh, from a certain point of view. That's, That's right. That was supposed to be Obi Wan Kenobi, but it came out as a beetle. It did, it did come out as a beetle. Uh, well, you know, uh, <laughs> wait. Uh, well, you're doing very bad at it. I know, though. I know. I was trying to think of uh, um, if that's more John or Paul. Um, I don't know. I wasn't here uh, for that. Well, neither was I. <laughs> Jeez. I mean... But were you? Two of them are still alive. I know. I'm Ringo and Paul McCartney. Very good. It's more of a John. <laughs> if you haven't heard Dana Carvey... But you're trying to do Obi-Wan. Let's be correct. I was trying to be... Well, hello there. But it turns into one of the Beatles. It always turns into one of the Beatles. Ah. Just like how every other accent always turns into... Uh, my Jimmy Stewart kind of goes towards Christopher Walken. Or your Christopher Walken turns into Jimmy Stewart. Yeah. Depends on how you look. Oh, it's so hard, everybody. It's tough. Anyways. It's tough. It's tough. I think that we have reached the end of this episode. Oh, for sure. I think we should vacate this room. Yeah, we should. Mm. I think I need some food. We're going to finish our whew, wild turkey. I mean, I'm going to savor this mm -hmm. off screen. Yes. Sorry, guys. Yes, that is this, so good. This tiny sip that's left. Uh if you haven't subscribed already, there's probably a thing up here that you can click on to subscribe to the channel. There's some suggestions down here. We have our own site, which is whiskeyambitions.com. You can check that out for our merch. Sure. You can and, become a patron uh, at patreon.com slash uh, bourbonite. Yeah. Uh, oh. We do all kinds of special things there, including first crack at bottles, first crack at meetups, um, new merch. You get the first scoop. Lots well, of firsts. We've definitely passed that 20 second spot. Please. So maybe now that thing maybe is up there. Maybe now that thing's up there. Um, but we also got a super chat. And so I will end the show. Also go subscribe to all the things that we shouted out throughout the show. I don't know what chat's doing it. It's making me very uncomfortable. I feel like this is a high school girl's dream or nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So. Uh, Do something. Well. I'm so, I'm so rusty. No, that's not right. Oh, I know what you're doing. I am, I need to play guitar more often. Because you do. I have lost it. He did play once upon a time and has not played. Cause but for BGJ, big fan of the channel, keep up the good work. What do you guys think of Mellow Corn? Personally, I was pleasantly surprised. Future Corn Blind Flight. I think Mellow uh, Corn is all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. It's really good for the price. It does what it's supposed to do for a And I'm going to be one. so frustrated when after I hit stop and I remember how to play this. Ugh, it's not right. Nope. Don't do it. Stop. You're that person right I'm now. I'm just frustrated. You're just myself. that person. I'm just frustrated. So probably now you can click up here to subscribe. There's probably now suggestions down here. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, and until next time. Work on your guitar. Drink more bourbon. Yeah, I'm gonna work up. Work on them guitar and Work skills. on that.